dark unwashable. Dope unwashable. He's employing the the it, tactic known as the stinky cheese, stinky popularized cheese. <laughs> by Dragon Ball, and um, what should I call it? Uh, over Triforce of Europe. Okay. You just smell really bad, and then people play really bad against yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I I remember Leffen complaining about that on Twitter. <sighs> this guy stinks. I can't play. So D unwashable, but the problem is with the head-to-head -head setup that Kick has. I don't think you can see it, but the, he has two TVs that are split into one capture card and one Wii. Yeah. So he can Every every team is sitting with their teammate. So if you're actually unwashable and unwashed, you're only hindering. You your have own a team. terrible matchup <laughs> with the head-to-head -head setup, whereas opposed to you could be in the middle and spread your stink around. And like have your partner wear like a gas mask. Yeah. <laughs> the the matchup of the head to head setup is really bad for the stinky cheese. Yeah. I, I think if you're if you're gonna try and come to the Arcadian with some stank, you're gonna have a bad time if you're on the head to head. This is actually a very terrible option. Yeah. <laughs> but going into battlefield, I think finally uh, still hand warmers now. No, no, I okay, think they're, I think they're going. They're going in. So uh, who does Ham play? Who does Mushu play? Ham plays uh, Puff. Oh, Mushu okay. plays Marth. I don't know D Unwashable and Quad. Um, Call them Green Fox and Green Falco. But ooh, Ham. I already got Falco. Yeah. yeah, I think generally with any, if you have like Puff in a team, you want to have like Puff just stay by Marth. Yeah. So like be in position to pick up grab rests. Um, I actually a really lot of people like in NorCal do that. I love the I love the Puff teammate just because. I, I think I was watching Amrit and Low Five play together. Just stay. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> What's up? I, I was watching Amrit and Low Five play uh, Fox Puff together, and Low Five just. <laughs> Sorry. What's up? <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not sneezing on purpose or anything. I know, but it just sounds so funny in the headset. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like the end of the world. <laughs> I was trying to say, Puff on the edge or on the ledge is actually so so scary because if you're off there and then the instant back air is carrying you off to the blast zone. Oh well, let's see let's see if Ham does that here. Well, basically, Puff's like one of two characters that can like go off stage and doubles, and the other's like Pikachu. Yeah. Because you, you, it's it's the reward for the way you want to do doubles edge guards usually instead of like going out to like confirm kills a lot of the time because th there's someone on stage ed waiting to edge guard you a yeah. lot of the time. What you generally want to do is have like one person hold ledge and one person like cover on stage mm -hmm. if you can. But uh, Puff's like really unique because you can just kind of hit people off and then like let Puff take care of it. Uh, it kind of also applies to like Sheik and Marth to some extent, mm -hmm. but like yep, you can just like have c characters like go off, just like kind of clean up. Puff is one of those characters that I actually encourage uh, to go for the kill. Because typically I'll say, you know, if you're in an edge guard situation, you're better off helping your teammate on the other side of the stage. Is what I would say, normally. But with Puff, since she's so powerful off stage, there's no there's no um, other reason than you just go out there and get the kill. No, I, I disagree, actually. I think that um, with Spacey's, at least, there's a lot of, like, mix-ups you can do. And sometimes if... The, if you're playing a character that takes a while to get back on stage, like if you're waiting for like a puff to recover and like or like Peach to come down while your teammates like in trouble, mm -hmm. you could just two v one the guy instead of waiting for floaties to come back. So a common strategy actually I think that Phil and Brandon talk about is that they counterpick double floaties to Dreamland and then two v one them. Ah, okay, now that makes sense. See, but the issue I have with that is like say Marth is fighting Falco on the left side and Puff is fighting Fox on the right side, and Puff can then then sets up for the edge guard. It takes a while for Puff to go over to the left to help out um, Mark. So go for I'm I'm saying go for the kill on Fox just because you know. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I mean, if your like partner's like like engage like you know doing a good job of like holding stage against them, I think it's fine. Like you shouldn't. There's, it just depends on the situation. Yeah. Also, you can like you know, kind of the mix up of like target switching in doubles is really important. Like you like fake going for one team and go for the other. Oh, was Ham pulling a hungry box and holding onto his stocks? I think he is actually. I they just Marthen Marth's a really good support character, but if you're not if like Mushu's getting grabs and Ham isn't like capitalizing off of them, doesn't seem like much of a point to play with that comp. Okay, taking that stock. Yeah. And Well, this is actually really this is really scary because both of these uh, spacey characters can easily neutralize well okay falco can neutralize puff in neutral and then fox has a great punish no they both beat puff in neutral well 
We just it's oh, fine. Okay, this is. I mean, Falco from a distance. And teams, I don't like to see teams as a specific singles matchup because there's roles in that you should that you should employ in order to properly play together. Yeah. So like Falco from a distance shoots lasers. Fox can capitalize on that from above, like camp the platforms. It's just a bad situation for Ham. Well, I think that Ham's like able to. They're they're too afraid to approach Ham. Both approach Ham. Mm -hmm. And so it's hard. It's but really like hard. rest is off the table unless they get a double rest, which is like. <laughs> <laughs> they they really only have like the issue of getting gimped, but that's probably what they're scared of. It's hard. I mean, I I would say. In that situation, the perfect setup is Falco maintain the ground stage with lasers and Fox camp the platforms and go from above. That's what I would. That's what I would say. Oh, great! Yeah. Up smash taking that first game, going to Mushu and Ham. No, it's going to Dion Washable and Quad. Wait, what? It's going to Dion Washable and Quad. They're playing. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I, I was so focused on Puff. You're right. <laughs> quad and Dion Washable. Dion Washable. You know what? Maybe this maybe the stench is actually traveling far enough <laughs> to reach Mushu and Ham. <laughs> okay. Mushu's Spr just like Spr I can't handle it. Spr Sprint. Sprint. Actually, I don't. <laughs> Sprite. Ah, Sprite. Yeah. You know anyone at Sprite? Do you know any? No. You know anyone at Sprite? So switching to Sheik. Sheik's really good at um. So. He took King of Hunger Rocks play this setup a lot, and it usually ends up with, since it's hard to 2v1 uh, Puff, as you saw earlier, because yeah. she can just kind of get out of any hole, like, kind of control her space, defend her space really well. And even if you control the space, you can't really um, fight her, go approach her offstage. So it's really difficult for everyone to approach Puff, really, I'd say. And so you can just kind of have like Hunger Box 2v1 and then Mewtwo King just support with needles. Yeah, the little clean up from afar. Yeah, because it's so hard to like take space away from Hunger Box. So this could work. It could, it really could. Uh, for Mushu though, she lost uh, she lost her first stock roughly like 25 seconds in. And I, I think Mushu's having a real hard time getting ganged up on. And Ham is just unable to get them off. They're, they're focusing pretty hard. On, on Sheik and Ham is just unable to break them up quickly enough. Well, the problem is that like Puff can't really approach vertically very well and Falco has a gig so basically what you want to do versus Puff is you never want to approach her like from the same plane you want to put her from below or from above and so it's it's really diff so if they're just like circumnavigating uh, they're like you know going to platforms to avoid being on the same plane as like Ham Definitely. It's, f like, fine for... Ham should save. Yeah, okay. Oh, that was actually really nice. Got that right as she popped in. Yeah. yeah you either want to save with down air, pound, or, like, uh, up air. That back air. Got both of them. Split them up very nicely. Oh, and... I think saving people is actually super underrated in teams. It is, and I think the reason why people don't do it is because they don't know how to properly do it. It's not something you typically practice, unless you're a form <laughs> team. You know? Yeah. Like you say, hey, I need a doubles partner, and then it's like, yo, dude, why, why don't you save me? It's like, I don't know how. I don't know how to do that. And at the same time, people are also very afraid. Yeah. Like, go out. You're really exposing yourself to go out there and, and save your teammate. Mm -hmm. Fear factor is actually huge in that. Ooh, nice up smash. <gasps> so, a good thing for, like, Sheik to do in the situation is when Sheik and teams, you kind of. It's, it's hard to approach you on platforms, and so people are usually going to attack your partner, but both Sheik and Puff control space really well. Yeah. So it's really difficult to um, have. So what usually what you want to do with Sheik is you want to, as soon as anyone gets off stage on your side, you want to clean up kills. You want to uh, close out them, because Sheik's, Sheik has a lot of like kill setups. Um, she has a lot of kill power, but she also like struggles at low percents, which break crouch cancel. And so you can't really have like Sheik running the front lines very well, but you kind of you just need to like hang out and like pick up kills. Really good save from save. Ham. <laughs> oh no! And then Mushu does it. <laughs> I think uh, for Sheik and I feel this this combination Jigglypuff and Sheik is great for ledge play. So if Sheik 
in general can get a lot of grabs and separate the Fox and Falco and Jigglypuff can also get in there and help separate them, they'd go a lot further because this whole this whole game right here has just been Fox and Falco running a train on Cheek and just down air, down air, down air, kind of just tag well, you can't, you're, you're not like trying to, you're not trying to approach like, it's, it's hard to like approach Puff and Doubles, right? It is, yeah. It's like easier reward. Doubles, you, you want to get tangible results more quickly. You want you want to, it's like a race to kill them. And so yeah. it's it's oftentimes just faster to just like not just kind of ignore Puff, be efficient about killing her, and then just like two v one the partner. Yeah. But the the biggest thing for Mushu there, try to I guess try to get out of those situations more often than than not because that's.